welcome back. Yes, I finally got more mesh so that I could finish up this wreath and get it posted. But anyway, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make my beautiful spiral petal wreath. Now, this is 10 inch mesh from Hobby Lobby. The star is also from Hobby Lobby. So, but the form is from Dollar Tree. <laughs> anyway, stay tuned and I'll show you how to make it. Hey, y'all, before we get started, I just wanted to say something about this wreath right quick. If you have watched my ever popular splatter screen rose wreath video, then this is going to be easy for you because the petals that I created for that wreath that I made, now this is an old video that I'm referencing, it's going to be the exact same on this. You're just laying them down in a different way, okay? So if you've watched that video, this is going to be a piece of cake for you. Now, a few weeks ago, someone in my group, my Facebook group, had made this wreath. Um, everybody asked me to make a video, but I was almost out of 10-inch mesh, which is what we're going to be using on this, okay? 10-inch mesh. I had a little bit. I made a partial wreath, which is laying over here, <laughs> which is laying over there. And now my other mesh came in so that I can get started on the new one. I posted it on my blog, just, you know, told everybody to please, you know, stay tuned. So anyway, I see that someone else has decided to make this wreath and not give either one of us credit, which that's not too cool, but you know what? It is what it is. But just why I tell people in my group the importance of having a blog, okay? And I'm telling all of you out there the importance of having a blog so that when you start working on something, you can post it so that you have a date stamp on it, okay? So that's all I'm gonna say about that. <clears throat> my throat is killing me today. I did a lot of talking yesterday. So what you're going to need for this is a 14 inch wreath form. This one came from the Dollar Tree. Now you can use a larger one if you want to. Like I said, 10 inch mesh. I have red, white, and blue. You're only going to need, like I said, this kind came from Hobby Lobby. Here is the label here, 10 inches by 10 yards. You're only going to need one roll of each color. Okay, we're doing three colors. So you're gonna need one of red, one of white, and one of blue. And then you're going to need some pipe cleaners. Cut the pipe cleaners in half. So what you're gonna do basically is take your mesh and you wanna cut it into a square. So you're gonna measure 10 inches and then cut it. So it's 10 inches on this side, 10 inches on this side, a perfect little 10 inch square. Now lay it down and you're gonna take opposite corners and fold it down just like this. And now you're just going to bring your fingers up and squish it together till it looks like a little jellyfish. <laughs> now, a note about this, you see how I'm holding it here? There's a point here and a point here. They're almost straight across like this. That's gonna give you a very fluffy and poofy appearance, okay? Now, the closer that you come up to here, you see how these are starting to curl in? Now I'm gonna be putting a decoration in the middle of my wreath. So I'm going to just pinch it right about here so that these are kind of straight across. But now if you're not gonna put a sign, you might wanna bring it up just a little bit more so that these are angled downwards so that when you put it on your wreath, you don't have to worry about your edges sticking out, okay? Let me get this one over here and I'll show you what I mean. Now, see how you can see the edges right here? That's because mine was kind of loosey-goosey like this, okay? Kind of puffy. Now, if you tighten it up so that these are pointing downwards, you see how it's more rounded? You won't have to worry about your edges sticking out if you don't want to use a sign, okay? So, let's get that out of the way. I want to get my wreath form over here. But anyway, this is my little jellyfish. I'm gonna take my pipe cleaner half here and just wrap it around and just tighten it down. One or two good twists like this, like that. See, looks like a little jellyfish. Now you can leave the tails on here if you want to, or you can trim the bulk of it off, but don't cut it too short, okay? Because you don't want somebody to come along like a kid or something and pull and mess with this part and then your pipe cleaner just slips right off because you don't have enough down here for it to grip. So this is basically a little jellyfish guy here. So now instead of putting it on like this, we're just gonna turn it sideways. We're gonna start with a crossbar right here. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put one edge of the pipe cleaner here and one here so that it's grasping this, this crossbar. That's just gonna give us a little bit of stability so that all of your petals don't slide around and bunch up together, okay? 
All right. So now we're going to give that a good twist. Now you want to twist these. And the reason that I'm using pipe cleaners instead of something like zip ties is the pipe cleaners give you the ability to move your pedals like this and position them. You might want them positioned like this. You might want them going directly side to side, but then you have to worry about your points here. So you want to kind of angle them about like this. Okay. About like that. So now we're going to do, uh, let's do a blue one. Okay, all my pieces are sticking together. So now we're going to take a blue one and just gather it up like we did the white one. Now, don't worry about fluffing these up or anything until you pretty much get one section full, or as I did on that one, I haven't even fluffed any of them up. I'm just going to wait till I'm totally done with it. Oops, I didn't wrap it around the correct crossbar. Do you see that? It's starting to slide. <laughs> I thought I had it. Okay, look. You're only doing this because we're on camera. Get back over there. All right, there we go. All right, twist it around. Now you can just angle it however you want it. Now we're going to take the blue one. Once again, you can trim off the tails if you want to. I'm just going to get like the very, very end points off of it. Now I'll take it and you're just going to layer it down right there and wrap it around these two middle ones here. So wrap it around and then give it a good twist in the back. And basically what we're going to do, and it all depends on the look that you're going for. You can put a lot of these on here. You could put just a handful. On the one that I have going over here, I have four petals in each section and then do one on the crossbar. Do four in this section and then one on the crossbar. Four, one. Okay, that's the way I did it. You can put as many or as few as you want to, you know, all depending on the look you're going for. Now, as you're doing this and as you're layering your petals, you may want to take the little tails and just kind of stick them towards the back, okay? So now we have that one and just twist it till it gets into place. All right, so let's do a red one. Just try to get it even here. I do use a cutting mat in my rotary cutter when I'm cutting these. You know, just so that I can try to get it as perfectly square as possible. Doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm going to try to get them square. All right, let's cut this off. Okie dokie. So now we're going to take this one, whoopsie doodle, and just wrap it around the two center ones. They look difficult, but they're not. As I said, it's basically just the, the rose petal in a different position. Okay, now slide this over. Just tuck the little tails down, just like that. Okay, and you see how they're starting to layer? You see like how the little edge is picking up there? You can just twist them until the edges lay down, just like that. Now, like I said, I'm gonna do four, and then one around this, four, and one around this, okay? So I have this partial one over here that I'm going to finish up. And then I have a decoration that I want to put in the middle. So I will be right back. Okay, so this is basically what we are winding up with. And as you can see, some of them are a little crooked because I'm not going to fluff them up and really position them just yet until I get my decoration in the center. Now I got this little star. This came from Hobby Lobby as well. Anyway, I'm going to pick this up again. So you can see like the points down here are not going to matter because they're going to be covered. The points that matter are up here and you want to just kind of tuck them down in there <laughs> so that they're out of the way. You know, that's the good thing about using the pipe cleaners. You can twist them and maneuver them until all of your points are hidden. Okay. Then if you want to, if this is going to be outside or even if it's not going to be outside, you can take some of that Krylon uh, Crystal Clear Triple Thick Spray. And you can just give it a good coating and what that's going to do it'll help to stop it from raveling a little bit so you know it's kind of helpful when you have so much raw edge showing so get over there mesh like i said this little star is from hobby lobby and i think that i'm going to use this in the very center and any little edge is showing I'll just mess with them and get them tucked down in there. So what am I going to do? Because this is foam. Um, I thought I had my hot glue gun plugged in. Apparently I didn't. I plugged in my rock tumbler. I just had a cord in my hand. I'm like, I'm just going to plug this in and then I'll be ready. And you know what? It's not ready. 
but this is a low temp glue gun, okay? Because this is styrofoam, the hot temp will melt it. Low temp is usually pretty safe. So I have a handful of pipe cleaners here. And what we're gonna do, let's cut this tag off first. I want this ribbon to come out and I wanna try, I don't think it's gonna pull out very easily. So I'm just gonna trim it. There we go. And I don't think we'll be able to see it from the front. No, looks pretty good. So I'm going to take pipe cleaners and put into this star and then we're gonna put it on a wreath <clears throat> and just attach it to the wreath form. So to do that, I'm going to take a color pencil. You use whatever you have. And I'm just gonna poke a hole in here. Be careful not to go all the way through. Like this, and let's see. I could do one right here. No, just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna go down here. And then what I'm gonna do is take a pipe cleaner and then we bend it in half like this and then take some of the hot glue after this thing gets hot. <laughs> take some of the hot glue and you're gonna put a blob down in that hole. And then you're going to stick the folded edge of your pipe cleaner down in there and let it set up. And then that way we're gonna be able to attach this star. So once this heats up, that's what I'm gonna do. And then when I attach it, I'll come back and, and I'll show you how I do that, okay? Okie dokie, so this is done. And you know what? <laughs> I'm out of pipe cleaners, so I don't have one for the very tip top of the star. But you know what? It's okay. This is going to secure it fairly well to the reframe. And it's not like I'm going to be throwing it around like a frisbee. It's just going to be hanging on a door so it doesn't really take a lot of punishment. But anyway, let's lay this down. And I'm going to get up out of my chair here, move the chair back. And now I'm casting a shadow, but it's all right. So now I'm just going to lay the star down. And the pipe cleaners are getting just all up in the way. Let's see if I can bend them. Let's try to see about where I want it. And then all you're going to do is just take your pipe cleaners, run it. You're going to have to move your pedals a little bit. And this is going to take a second. Just work your pipe cleaners down between the mesh and just wherever you can attach it on the frame. That's what we're going to do. Now I'm not going to make you sit there and watch me do all of it because that's going to take up so much of your time and i know that y'all are busy and you have lives so when doing things like this i try to hold it in place with this hand and then with the other hand i'm twisting the pipe cleaner but you know not really tightly just snugging it up a little bit so i can see where the star is laying okay now i'm going to go up here and do this one kind of a an angle here and then you're just gonna tighten down all of them. So let's find this bottom rung here. Okay, and I don't want it really tight because then that's gonna make the star sink down into the mesh. That looks good. All right, now let's tighten it up a little bit. All right, so you're just gonna do this with your other pipe cleaners to hold it in place and you're done. So now that I see what I'm doing, I'm going to sit back down. But anyway, pretty simple. Stick around after the video so that you can see a full photo of it. But um, pretty darn simple. And it didn't really take too long either. A lot of people ask me, well, how long does it take you to make something? Honey, I don't know because I'll work on it. And then when the kids will need something, I'll have to get up, take care of them, go take care of the dog, you know, go... And I hate sitting still for a long time, so I'm always up and about moving. I'll work on this, go jump on a treadmill, you know, go do something. So I, I honestly can't tell you how long this takes me, but it did not, you know, in the grand scheme of things, did not take long at all. <laughs> well, it might have if you consider that I had to sit here for a while and wait for more mesh to come in. <laughs> anyway, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around and make sure all of the points of my mesh, where'd it go? It's kind of hidden and tucked away so that it looks nice. Now, with these, you can put as many as you want to on there. This is just how many I like, okay? And I do a video in the future where I put a lot more on, and it does give it a completely different look. But with this, I'm happy with how it came out. Like I said, stay tuned for a photo. Anyway, if you would, please give this video a thumbs up. 
Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye.